Shown in Excel here is our detailed flowchart. You can see the name of the sheet down at the bottom here, covering the models and scheduling module. Up at the top here, you can see our source documents in the green here. These can be timer pro processes in Yamazoom and charts by model with all the possible options for each model in that particular Yamazoom chart here. We also have the ability to take data from a very simple Excel template that you can load your data right into. So this would save you building all the data directly from Timer Pro. You can just bring it in from Excel here. So what we're going to do is combine all the models for a particular assembly line into a single working file. And then we're going to assign a tag time. And that's going to drive everything else in the models and scheduling module. So here we are in Timer Pro. We're going to go to the file option here. And the option we take to combine all the different models into one file is this new models and schedule, this option down here. We click on this. See it says new models and schedule in the background, but it's coming up and it's asking, where are they? So what you typically do is put them all in one folder. We'd probably recommend you do that here. Go to my libraries documents, apply computer services. We give you a sample. You can go to the samples here. And in here you get the models and options. And here we go to our base models. And we get two here. Now we can have up to 30 different models, each with their own set of options that you can combine into one here. I'm just going to combine these two here. Just highlight the first one and the second one, and then click on the open. And we can tell it here to save the models. It's going to see a little progress bar here. It's combining them. That's the first one. That's the second one going in now. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's pulling this information, it's consolidating into one area here. Now it brings up the first model, which in our example is model A, and it's now asking us enter the value for attack time for the line. We can also use the calculator down here if you want to use a calculator. Here you can see including demand, yield, and efficiency here. But normally you'd probably know the attack time here, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to enter a value of 1400 here. That's going to be my attack time on this line. I click the OK. It presents me with the Yamazumi chart for each model here. This is you see, displaying element groupings and options for model A. So again, the light blue ones here are options. And all the other ones here are the element groupings that have been added during your process development here. Now you can see up the top left hand corner, I have my model A. I can click on this. I can switch to see model B. And it's a different build. So you can toggle between your different model builds here. And again, you can have up to 30 different models right in here. So what we've done here, we've combined all the models for an assembly line into a single working file, and we've input the tag time. That's as far as we've gone in this video.